Hi, Dr. Rosen. Thank you very much for joining us on this uh, brief interview and appreciate your time. I know you're very busy. Uh, for those that are listening to this, I'd like to introduce Dr. Paul Rosen. He's a very well-known periodontist with large practices, both in the Pennsylvania area as well as in the New York, Manhattan area. Paul is somebody who is very well respected in the field and has been a periactive user for quite some time. And we really wanted him to share some of his feedback and some of his experiences in using this product. So th Paul, welcome, how are you? I'm doing great, Bill. Thanks so much for reaching out to me. It's my pleasure to be with you today to share my experiences over, oh God, we've I've been using the product for better than 12 years now. So I'm glad to uh, be able to uh, share this with you and your audience. So for the users, uh, for the listeners to this uh, interview, Paul was brought on by a group of specialists who were evaluating this product to be one of the evaluators. That's how esteemed he is within the field. And uh, so Paul's experience comes in a sense from a very critical perspective. Does this work or doesn't this work? And nobody pulls the wool over Paul's eyes. So Paul, tell us about your experiences in using this product over the years that you have been where you use it, how you use it, and what your um, experiences have been. Sure. Um, the What really grabbed my attention to this product began at uh, that very first investigators meeting where uh, information was shared both dentally and medically about uh, the Izun uh, product, the uh, Periactive. Um, what really got my attention that day was when uh, diabetic wounds on the feet were presented. And what really was fascinating was the anti-inflammatory benefits of this triple botanical combination and how it was able to alleviate diabetic wounds. Now, fast forward that to my experience over time, I, uh, I gravitated to this product for two main reasons. First, the fact that it has no alcohol in the product is a very appealing one. Um, and also along that same line, the fact that it's a natural, quote unquote, product, it's triple botanical. It has um, <clears throat> it's nice that it's derived from nature. I felt that would be something rather interesting and appealing. But the second aspect to this and the one that no one really talks about in their mouth rinses, the. Um, the, those that have FDA approval for gingivitis, is that it works under a different mechanism. Everything can say that they're antimicrobial, but this is antimicrobial because of its anti-inflammatory benefits. And this harkens back to that initial uh, meeting where we saw the uh, diabetic wounds heal with the use of these same triple botanicals uh, used. So I like the idea that this was a medication or a, a a mouth rinse that would work under anti-inflammatory processes. So why is that appealing? What's appealing about that is that if we can reduce inflammation, which is a, a significant portion to what causes the destruction from periodontal disease, peri-implant mucositis, peri-implantitis, then we have something that is unique and something that will help patients. And its effects have been far reaching beyond just that. So, Paul, if, how would you say this compares in your practice and from your patients' experiences in terms of the differences between this and some of the other commercially available products? Well, first and foremost, a lot of patients like the fact that it's not an alcohol-based product. They That is an extremely appealing thing to them. Second, the gold standard that's out there for anti-gingivitis, that being chlorhexidine, uh, the negative side to that is the amount of staining that can occur. And a lot of patients have um, uh, re restorative work that's uh, been put in for uh, cosmetics, et cetera. The mere fact that I don't have to deal with the, the staining issues that are attended with chlorhexidine are quite wonderful. On the other side, uh, the uh, use of Listerine it has its merits, however, 
the high alcohol content and just how astringent it can be is a problem. And that's extremely important because I see an increase in the aging population in my practice. And those people are on a number of medications that cause dry mouth. You have the uh, tricyclic antidepressants, the SSRIs, et cetera. They are on anti-diabetic medications, anti-hypertensives. All these things are drying their mouth out. The idea of adding a highly, a high concentrated alcohol com, uh, mouth rinse is very unappealing. So this is not going to be a desiccant in their oral cavity. And the fact that it can help us maybe even soothe their oral tissues is a real benefit. So I, on a daily basis, this has been a, a well-accepted product. Now, granted, I'm not going to lie to you. There are those patients who just don't like the taste of it, but that's true with everything. There isn't one product out there that appeals to everybody. But on the other hand, vast majority of people find this uh, pretty appealing and it's been well embraced. And most importantly, I see improvements in the inflammation that is present or uh, prior to its use with my patients. I see that it's improving their oral health. And for those who have some uh, unusual circumstances, and I could get into it a little bit, such as uh, pemphigus vulgaris or benign mucous membrane pemphigoid, or even some lichen planus, especially aphthous ulcer su sufferers, uh, this product has been remarkable in helping uh, give some peace of mind to these people by uh, getting rid of that inflammation and discomfort associated. So if you think about your narrowing the scope down, you uh, you run a perio practice, clearly perio implants, et cetera, but, and probably oral medicine as well. But the um, what percentage of the patients that you see uh, in your practice, would in which type of patients would you put on periactive? So quite frankly, um, I, I myself, first of all, am a user. I don't have periodontal disease, nor do I have gingivitis. So I believe for the for the mainstream patients, this is an excellent mouth rinse, particularly those who are you know prone to inflammation. Um, that said, uh, I would say. The vast majority of my patients, because they're undergoing therapies associated with inflammatory diseases, so this is an important rinse for all of them. In the broad spectrum of patients who see the general dental population, I also see this as a good mouth rinse for the vast majority of them as well. Clearly, if someone is an outstanding uh, individual with their oral hygiene, they brush, they floss well, they clean... Uh, uh, on a routine basis. Do they need this? Not necessarily, but that is not the vast majority of patients, especially those who I see in my practice. Uh, in my practice, I put on all implant patients, certainly the peri-implantitis and the peri-mucositis, but, I, but I, all implant patients in my practice get uh, regu regularly use periactive, and we find it makes a big difference in their long-term care. What's your experience with that? Well, unfortunately, I wish I got to see a larger swatch of people who I've seen. A lot of the patients who sent to me tend to be more prescriptive in nature. But that said, a lot of these people are given are, are provided with restorative work, which is a little bit uh, daunting for them to clean. And the appeal to me of a mouth rinse that will help further their oral hygiene efforts is very, very important. Uh, a lot of crowns we try to make uh, tend to be uh, fabricated with aesthetics and, uh, you know, phonetics. So some of these are very difficult for access. So if a patient can use a proxa brush or, so, or an interdental, uh, a, a, um, the use of a water pick type device and use this to try to flush these areas out or clean these areas is highly appealing to me. So I totally agree with you that uh, the implant population is important, but also for all the patients who are coming in with inflammatory disease, such as periodontal disease, I think they could all benefit by them and should be on, on a mouth rinse like this. And the idea of long-term uh, use of uh, alcohol-based uh, products is not one that I'd like to embrace. 
I completely agree. So share with us possibly if you can think off the top of your head of a specific case that sort of blew you away in terms of the periactive. Well, when it comes to inflammation, I'd uh, performed a certain, well, two of them. First was, uh, I'll, actually, I'll give you three of them. One is with one of the uh, periodontists in uh, New York with whom I practice. Uh, one day he came in and he was in horrific pain from aphthous ulcers. And this ties into one of the other cases. He had tried a number of different things and nothing was working for him. And I happened to take one of my bottles of Periactive and I gave it to him and I said, rinse with this and within a day you will get relief. And lo and behold, the next day I, I call him up and I say, hey, how are you doing? And he said, I can't believe it. I have no pain in my mouth anymore. <laughs> uh, this this has been a, like a miracle. I can't. And he he embraced it and started using it with his patients. Well, I, this harkened back to my receptionist who one day had an aphthous ulcer in her mouth and she was in real significant pain. I told her to use the periactive. She did. And now she uses it on a daily basis. But it was the only thing that was touching these people. The other one was uh, an instance with a patient who had um, pemphigus vulgaris in particular. And I did an implant surgery. And post-surgically, she was not willing to try the, the periactive at first. She just wanted to use uh, plain water for fear that all the alcohol-based and all the other mouth rinses she'd ever put in her mouth created even greater pain for for due to her pemphigus vulgaris. I said, listen, you have to try this. And lo and behold, with, between, after a day or two, she was much in a much better place than she had been. I mean, this was a game changer for her. And I recommended that she use this on a daily basis. Unfortunately, like many of the prescriptive patients, she went off, I don't get to see her anymore. But I do know that when I performed a second surgery for her, the first thing she said was, you're going to make sure that I have the periactive. <laughs> so um, I've seen great merit in these cases. These are the more outlier type cases that really will always stand out in, in my mind for game changers for patients. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a cute story, actually. Um, so basically, I'd really like to sum up and just say, first of all, thank you. And Paul, would it be safe to say that you're a periactive fan? Well, Bill, the answer is wholeheartedly yes. I have uh, been using this product, like I said, 12, 14 years at least. Um, it has made me a huge periactive fan. I uh, totally endorse the product to the point that at the uh, that I use it on a daily basis. I have my family members as well and, and my staff. Um, I don't believe in doing one thing uh, with my patients and another for myself and my relatives. Uh, if I didn't totally embrace this product, I wouldn't be providing it on a day in day out basis. And I'm not one to try to sell things commercially in my practice. I just feel there there's a certain lack of professionalism in hawking products for the sake of money. But Periactive is one of the few products that I've ever been willing to do this with and will continue to do that because I could provide this to my patients at a, a slightly better price point for them than what they might get otherwise. And I'm hoping for the day that this will become a, a universally um, a mar marketed product that I could see in our pharmacies locally and throughout the country and world so that I don't have to carry it anymore. But until that day, I will continue to uh, be a advocate for Periactive and, uh, as you said, a, a fan of this product. <laughs> Dr. Rosen, Paul, thank you very, very much for your time. And um, we very much appreciate your viewpoint on this. So thank you. Well, Bill, thank you very much. It's uh, been a pleasure. I, I've been very blessed uh, to have uh, become acquainted with something that at on the, the surface of things, I always am a little bit skeptical, but it has made me into a true believer. And thank you very much for uh, continuing to provide our uh, greater patient population with a must needed product. Thank you. A pleasure. Pleasure to work together with you to make our patients healthier. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.